you can create personal stationery that works just like the stationery created by your administrator. If you send a lot of messages with common information, such as messages addressed to the same person or with the same subject or body, you'll find personal stationery a convenient shortcut when creating these messages. If you're going to create your own personal stationery, it's best first to make sure that your mailbox is split either vertically or horizontally, as the default placement for new stationery is in the upper or left pane, depending on how you have split your mailbox. To split your mailbox, choose View, Split, and Split Horizontal or Vertical. Here's an example of a message that James has prepared that he sends out on a regular basis to his students who have overdue assignments. He has a placeholder for the person's name, assignment, and due date, and that will change for each reminder. The rest of the text is standard. He can turn this message into a stationery by selecting File, Properties, or Get Info on a Mac, and clicking on the stationery checkbox. He also changes the expiry on the stationery to Never, and then clicks on OK. Notice that the message now jumps to the top pane, and it has been converted to a stationery item. When James double clicks on this message, it creates a new one, and all James has to do is address the message, replace the name, assignment, and due dates in the body, and send it. The stationary item remains the same. If James needs to edit the stationary, he must first select the properties of the message and uncheck the stationary checkbox before making changes. Then, after the changes are made, he can set the stationary checkbox again. Currently, First Class does not support the automatic inclusion of signatures with rich text or images. If you're interested in such a signature for a new outgoing message, create a signature stationery. Here's one that James has prepared as a stationery. The subject and two fields are empty. He's going to take this example one step further. He converts the unsent message to a stationery, changes the icon and expiry date, and sets the placement in the toolbar. Now, when he refreshes his mailbox, he sees the new icon on his toolbar that, when clicked on, creates a new message using the icon and the custom signature. He can complete the addressing of the message and enter his content and send it.